Hello friends. In the last video, we have studied how to find values of horizontal and vertical components of a given vector. So, in this video, we will learn how to find magnitude and direction of a vector using horizontal and vertical components. So, if you are given values of ax and ay, ax is the horizontal component of the vector and ay is the vertical component of the vector and you are asked to find the magnitude and direction of that vector. So suppose we have this vector a and its direction is this angle theta. We have to find magnitude and direction of this vector a. Magnitude means numerical value of the vector or the size of the vector and direction means angle of the vector from the positive x-axis. So here to find the magnitude we will use Pythagoras theorem which is about the right angle triangle. Look at this triangle. It is right angle triangle. This angle is 90 degree and this is adjacent side and this one is the opposite side and this one is hypotenuse. So we can denote this A and this one B and this one C. We know Pythagoras theorem says C square equals A square plus B square where C is hypotenuse A and B are adjacent and opposite sides. So here you can see C is actually vector A or the value of vector A to the whole square and A is opposite side or AY to the whole square plus B is actually AX to the whole square. We can find the value of A like this A equals square root of AY to the whole square plus AX to the whole square. We can use this formula to find the magnitude of the vector A. Now we have to find the direction. That means we have to find this angle theta. So for that we need to use tan. Let's take another page. So remember sa ko tova. So we know that this is opposite side. This one is adjacent side and it's hypotenuse. You know tan equals opposite over adjacent. So tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Here opposite side is ay and adjacent side is ax. So this shows that theta equals tan inverse ay over ax. So we can use this formula to find the direction of vector A. Let's take an example. So here we have this question. Jacob traveled 5 km east and 7 km north. How much Jacob displaced from his home? So this means let's draw figure first. 5 km east. This side is east and this side is north. And then he traveled 7 km north. This one is the starting point and this one is the end point. So he displaced this much distance and we have to find the magnitude and direction of this displacement vector d. So for that to find the magnitude we are going to use Pythagoras theorem because it's a right angle triangle. This side would be a, this side would be b and d would be the c. So you know c square equals a square plus b square. So d square equals 7 square plus 5 square and this way we can do square root of 49 plus 25 that equals 8.6 kilometer. So 8.6 kilometer is the magnitude or numerical value of this displacement vector. Next is we have to find this angle theta or the direction of displacement vector. So for that we are going to use tan. So tan theta equals opposite over adjacent 
अपोजिट इज सेवन किलोमीटर एंड एडजेसेंट इज फाइव किलोमीटर सो थीटा इक्वल्स टेन इनवर्स सेवन ओवर फाइव दैट इक्वल्स फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री विच इज डायरेक्शन ऑफ डिस्प्लेसमेंट वैक्टर सो जैकेब डिस्प्लेस एट पॉइंट सिक्स किलोमीटर एट फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री फ्रॉम हिज होम I hope you understand this topic so far. In the next video, we will discuss how to find resultant of addition of two vectors. So stay tuned and study more. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and likes for daily updates. Thank you.